Hi, I'm Carla Pierce, and in this episode, we are visiting Barb Gorill at her hobby farm just outside of Kamloops, BC. We are going to be painting some chickens and goats, and hopefully, we won't get stuck in the snow and the mud. So tell me how you you feel about about the the sketching versus doing larger paintings, larger involved paintings. Because I know you you do both, but I also know that you're sketching more now. I find the sketching is um, it's liberating, but it's also safe, and there's no expectations. But there's no expectations for the big paintings either. Well, there is in our mind. Okay, that's right. It, in my it? mind, yes. there's an if. If I start a painting, mm -hmm. there's an expectation. If I'm doing a sketch, mm -hmm. it's looser, it's freer. Mm -hmm. There's generally a story attached to it. Right. And it's in my sketchbook. It's that's it. It's contained. It's mine. Yes, it's contained in your in your book of stories of you. Right. And it's for you. That's right. And if I choose to share it. That's good. Yes. And if I don't have to, mm -hmm. I don't have to. Tell me how, how that affects you from, from doing a painting in a, <coughs> for a show for versus show. not. <laughs> it's made me braver. Uh, braver with color. Mm -hmm. It's made me attempt to to do things my way mm -hmm. as opposed to the the rules. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's made me try different things that if I was doing a painting for say a juried show, yes. I would probably follow the rules mm -hmm. precisely whether I wanted to or not, mm -hmm. knowing that it was going to be judged, it was going to be juried, it was going to be critiqued. Mm -hmm. So I would be worried about other people's opinions of what I created. <laughs> Isn't that funny how we put that uh, pressure on ourselves? Of course. And, and why? What is the point of that? I mean, it's the painting uh, is an exercise in looking. And when we're out looking, that's what, where the art is, is it and, not? And we see things differently. Mm -hmm. And then, how do you feel about words? Words? Yeah. I love putting the words on the sketches. Um, I only started sketching about last, in July, so it hasn't been a year yet of, of actually keeping sketches in a book mm -hmm. and doing a little bit of journalizing about it. And I have found, as I'm working on that, it's bringing back other memories. I have found that one sketch can lead to many memories. So now I'm trying to work on some sketches from memory. It can be quite meaningful. Very therapeutic too. Mm -hmm. Very, um, I found with me on a very stressful day mm -hmm. or a sad day, I can choose to pick up my sketchbook and just kind of play. I never knew I was such a nature lover until I started walking through the fields and, you know, trying to sketch the, the colors in the birch bark, the fungus, the, the white against the lime green fungus I found in November, you know, the hoar frost on the, the different plants, the, the changes in colors of the leaves and just and the shadows and that. So, I never knew. So it's, has it changed 
since you've started sketching, you've seen things, or did you start to see things and then sketch them? Or was it all at once? I started seeing colors for sure earlier, prior to sketching, noticing the different blues in the sky, the many, many different colors of green there are, the, you know, things like that, right? I think sketching brought me more into the detail, the, the minutia, the minute details. I think it started with learning from you, certainly about paying attention to the colors first, right? It was all of a sudden it was like, that's not a gray rock. There's blues in it, there's greens, there's sparkles, there's mica. Learning to see the shadows, the different colors in the shadows. But the sketching kind of allowed me to play with the colors, right? And the detail. And, and that's another thing that we can do with these paintings is give them some personality looking at, the, at watching the chickens today. You could feel the rooster wanted to be in control. You could almost, and you could see his heart, his chest sticking out. You could feel the hands going, look after me, Mr. Rooster. And then you can, we remember our feelings and emotions. Then it comes time to put it on paper. It's remembering those feelings at that time. Have you found your visual memory has improved since you started sketching? Like you pull up images in your mind? Oh Lord, so many that I don't know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. maybe, that, maybe that explains why since I started the sketching, so many other memories have come back mm -hmm. that I would like to be able to sketch. Mm -hmm. And I can see those, some of those pictures as clear as a bell in my mind. We have those memories stored inside of ourselves, mm -hmm. um, but they're just sleeping. They're just sleeping and yeah. you kind of remember them, but you, I remember something like that, right? And then all of a sudden one day, it's fascinating. It's, it, 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 is. it is, I think, I suspect that's why um, there's more research now into art therapy for people with dementia, Alzheimer's, epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's been studies showing that people working through their fears and their things about epilepsy mm -hmm. is helping them, mm -hmm. but also the studies showing that music and art therapy helps create new pathways mm -hmm. for, sure. for people who have had uh, brain damage or strokes. Right. Or, yeah. yes. I became an artist because I needed the art therapy. Mm -hmm. it, it was something that literally kept me alive during mm -hmm. periods of my life. Mm -hmm. And for me, art is a very safe place. It is. It's always safe. It's safe. It can't it's, hurt you. <laughs> what's it going to do? You know, I mean, somebody might look at that and laugh, but so what? <laughs> so what? And so art is very, uh -huh. for me, it's very safe, but particularly mm -hmm. the sketching in my journal. Yes. It's a place I can go to. The sketches don't judge me. Mm -hmm. yes. They just let me be me. Mm -hmm. If somebody had told me 50 years ago, mm -hmm. Barb, when you're this age, 50 years from now, you're going to be sitting at your kitchen table <laughs> with pen and ink and watercolors and sketching and writing little stories, mm -hmm. I would have gone, why? Uh -huh. yeah. What does that mean? Like, what's, yeah. what's the purpose? What's the, right? Yeah. Now, 50 years later, I go, I get it. Mm -hmm. It's about, just what we've said, it's about, therapy, it's about meditation, it's um, telling a story, it's about cr creating. It's not, not production, but creating. Mm -hmm. I wasn't 
I never thought I could create. Mm. About eight or nine years old, I probably stopped creating mm -hmm. because then I'm judging what I was doing by other people's work and standards. Mm -hmm. So why bother? But I did, as I've been able to look back, I'm going, well, I've always been creative. Sewing, knitting, you know, especially when the children were youngsters, making clothes, yeah. making games, things like that. Yeah. But have never thought to apply it to sketch. Because there was still that, why bother? Right? And it, but yeah, it, it's been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And I have a long ways to go. Because once you start to, to dive into something, you realize, oh my goodness, I really don't know anything. I know nothing. <laughs> and then, oh look, somebody said, here's ink blocks to try. Okay, I better get some of those. So there's a whole new other medium. And watercolor pencils, mm -hmm. pen and ink, drawing inks. I've got a whole set of amazing colors, amazing things that you can do, and it's like, I want to do it all. Sketching art outside is always fantastic. It teaches us to look at things closely. It's not like we're creating something that's a finished product in itself that's gonna hang on the walls. We're, we're looking at the animals, and the river and the snow and the, the landscape and its interpretation that we're feeling and the art is for ourselves. It doesn't go anywhere else. It goes in our books as records of what we see around us. It's a good thing to do. It's healthy and it teaches us to look around and feel our environment. I'm Carla Pierce and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.